in the dispute at Central Falls High School. Last night, we told you that the superintendent, Francis Gallo, says she's now willing to return to the table with the teachers, which could mean a second chance that the fired teachers, they could keep their jobs. Now, in just a few hours, the teachers' unions will rally once again. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Tito is live in Central Falls with the latest developments. Walt? At this hour, no official response from the union to the administration here in Central Falls. But one potential sticking point as this potentially moves forward is the teachers are looking at this as a need to renegotiate the contract. The superintendent says they need to first nail down all the changes in that turnaround model and then renegotiate the contract. And we don't, we don't make excuses for anything. But Teachers will rally for the second time in nine days, but we're told the tone will be different. The administration's tone changed after the union proposed changes that mirror turnaround plan demands. Now what I'm seeing is they're ready. We're still in the turnaround model. We haven't, we haven't moved on that idea. Let's get to the table. Let's really put the meat onto these bones here that we have. For the stuck in the middle students, the changes their teachers are now proposing or agreeing to would mean longer school days, more tutoring opportunities, and stiffer evaluations of their teachers. I think my members obviously are going to welcome this, um, but they have been extremely strong throughout this. They've continued to come in and do what's in the best interest of students every day because they're professionals. But like anyone, they want to know that they have job security. More on this tonight at 5. The rally is scheduled for 4 o'clock in West Warwick. Live at the Mobile Newsroom in Central Falls, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.